So welcome back friends to the shop. Do you guys remember this green box? This green box came from Russia and it had the, the infamous or the famous Russian knife sharpener that I have absolutely enjoyed. Actually, I've enjoyed it so much that I have built, when I built my custom sharpening uh, cabinet, I built it kind of around that so that it would fit in. And that way I didn't have to disassemble it. You know, because when I wanted to sharpen uh, kitchen knives or something like that, you know, it just, I, I use it all the time. Mrs. W has really appreciated having, kni having knives that are sharp because I've just found it to be so easy. I have really struggled in the past with putting a good edge on knives. I've tried lots of different things, you know, stones, and I've tried uh, Lanskis and the, the Spider May Sharp Maker. And, and I, to be honest with you, I wasn't really impressed with the results. You watch these guys on YouTube and they're really good at it, you know, and they're able to split paper. And I would sharpen and sharpen and sharpen. And I, and I just, I never had very good results until I started using this. So I've been a big fan of it. So, why are we doing another video on the Russian knife sharpener? Well, I have something very exciting for you. This is the Mark I. Behold, the Mark II. The Mark II, it, boy, things have improved a little bit. Well, some people may say they haven't improved because I do love, I did love the box. Uh, the green box, the wood box with the rope handles, I, I thought, and the stenciling on it. Like, that was Cold War chic, huh? I thought that was really nice. However, it wasn't very practical. I ended up not using it, and of course, just put the sharpener in the cabinet. Now, this sharpener, many of you guys, and I've heard from several of you, have, have invested in this and started a pretty, a nice, profitable little side business. Um, guys have been taking these out to like uh, trade shows and gun shows and different things and getting a booth or county fairs and stuff and having, guys, having folks come by and sharpening knives for, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a piece. And I've seen them uh, at some of the Mother Earth News Fair uh, where guys were lining up to have their knives sharpened. So it was kind of, a, it's kind of a cool small business that you could get into with a relatively small investment. So having it, the, the Mark II, having it in this nice case uh, is much improved. You know, this, there's actually twice as many components with this one than the original one that they sent me, and it's much easier to carry. You could grab this thing and, I mean, I take it out, I've been taking it out of the shop into the house and opening it up and having everything at your fingertips is, is pretty nice. So, you know, the thing, the question always comes up like, well, this is an expensive knife sharpening uh, deal. You know, are you recommending this for the common guy? No, not necessarily. And not, not unless you're like a real knife enthusiast. And it's, it's pretty, un I mean, there's guys that have, you, they have two knives that they'll pay more for the cost of this kit. So if you find yourself in that situation, then that's fine. The other side, I think, is for guys that are looking for a little side business uh, that want to make a little extra money on the weekends or like we said. So let's open it up. Let's take a look because it is very, very cool. Should I take a peek inside? Man, oh man, this is exciting. This is quite, this is quite a thing. Look at that. Isn't that great? All right, let's, we'll start from here and we'll work over. I'll show you. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what everything is yet. I haven't went through the instructions. Let's start here. So uh, what they've included is everything we need to do to have a, a, a uh, certainly do sharpen pretty much any tool that we have in our house. We've got a C-clamp there. You can C-clamp this a base to a table, tabletop. I've never had to use that before because this, this is the base here. It's so heavy. I mean, this weighs many, many pounds and I've, they supply these rubber feet on the bottom. I put those on. There's rubber ones and then there's felt ones that they supplied that um, I haven't had it move. I just haven't found any reason for that there. So here we've got, uh, these look like mini Torx. There's some mini Torx tools. Uh, three different sizes, and I don't know what they're for. I, I've, I've never, I've never used them. I've just only used the Allens. Here is the, um, this is the angle finder. The, it'll, I'll put it all together here in a minute, and we'll see there. But that stores in there that gives your, your angle gauge, and that fits in there. This is a really a great, a great case. Um, it's it, everything fits in it nice. There's, everything's been um, cut out to fit. It's really cool. Okay, so we've got some polishing rouge here. So this is, a, I, I used the white one. I don't know what, let's see what's in this one. So it looks like there's two different grits. Everything is in Russian, uh, so I don't know. Oh yeah, so we've got a gray and a white. I don't know which one's more coarse or fine. Uh, the, here are the locking nuts. So these are the locking nuts here that lock the base down. Here, of course, is the, 
is the, the main section, which will go on here, and that's what these guys are for here. So they lock down, and those store there. Oh, I didn't even notice this before. Look at this. I didn't even notice that. They engraved Wrangler Star. That's pretty nice. Thank you, guys. That's really, I, I sharpened with it. I didn't even see that. So uh, let's put this here. We'll go back to that right there. Oh, the machining on this thing is just is beautiful. And there's some really cool improvements. Little thumb cut out so you can get to it. Look at these, here are all the jaws. These are the jaws that are gonna hold the different knives. This one here, if you have like a small knife, if you're just doing a pocket knife, you can hold a, a single blade. Do I have one to demonstrate? really have anything but you can get the picture is if you're if you're doing long like I was doing mrs. W's long chef knife she has a like a it's probably a 12 inch or so you wouldn't want to use this one because uh, you're gonna get too much flex on the ends but for your EDC knife that's the one you go with here and then there are these guys these clamps here which are for the smaller ones and that you can spread out here so you see that this is cut there in a groove you put these guys in like that and then you can grab long knives, really long knives, long, long, long a knife as you're going to need right there. So there's four of those. I don't know the difference between these two here, really. One's got a, they look the same. One's got a little a nut that sticks up a little taller. I don't know. I don't know why that is. I don't know. Uh, what else we got? So here, of course, is the base. This is the impressive part, uh, the machining on this. Listen to the, the detent. You hear that? So what's so cool about this is when you're sharpening, some of those clamp systems, you have to take the knife off and you have to flip, move it over because you're sharpening from both sides. This one here, you just give it a flip. So I'll show you here in a minute. I just love it. And the detent looks like you can, this is improved. Oh, there we go. So I didn't realize that when I was sharpening, I thought that the detent was a little bit too soft, meaning it was not, it didn't have enough pressure to hold here. But just simply by screwing this, I should have known that. I was so excited to use it that I didn't tie it. Here we have a little a machine flat surface right there to use our angle cube, which is, I think is the, that right there is the best, the most helpful piece of the whole deal. But it's much more refined than the old one. Look at this, for example. So this adjuster, this is where you're adjusting, adjusting your height. They have machined this with, see, look at that, that's beautiful. There are a series of teeth in there so you can turn this dial up and down. You know, the old one, you had to like loosen a set screw here and then move it up and down. This, I have, this one's great because you can really dial that in very quick and nice and then you can lock it down. Just, I love that. This has got um, just some extra nuts and hard, I really appreciate the extra hardware. So if you strip, strip out a screw or something, I have no idea what this stuff is. I have really no idea. It's, I, don't, I don't know. There's the Allen wrenches. Uh, we'll use those here in a minute. And uh, here's another thing that was really cool that I've enjoyed. I've never had one of these before. It's a, a, a jeweler's loop. And what a jeweler's loop is, it's, you've seen, you know, like when you go to buy an engagement ring or something, they have, usually the jewelers will have one of these um, wearing on a chain. And this is how you can look at, you know, really, so you can look at the clarity of diamonds if they've got defects and such. But this one's super neat because it's got a, uh, a LED in it. So it lights up, which is great. But I, I was having so much fun with this loop. Uh, Mrs. W had a kitchen knife that had been really abused. It had some chips in it. And in a matter of 10 minutes, I had that thing scary sharp, scary sharp. I kid you not. But it was interesting after the final polish going through the whole process of using this loop with the LED up really close to see how beautiful that edge was. Absolutely perfect. So that that's kind of cool. It was fun to play with to have that. So that's kind of a... Oops, that's kind of a nice little, a nice little addition to the kit. This is one of my favorites right here. This is the uh, S Prof. To, to, how do you pronounce that? The Angle Cube. This is so cool. So what you do, uh, I'll show you here in a minute. But you use this to set your angle. So you know, if you want to sharpen your knife at uh, what I sharpen Mrs. W's knives at, like twenty degrees. I think for kitchen knives is pretty common. She has one nice uh, Damascus steel uh, chef knife that um, is down to 17. I think some of the Japanese knives are less. And I was able to dial that in just so simple. And it's just, it's, I'll show you in a minute. It's just fabulous. That's, that's, I really, really like that. I would order that. If you were gonna get the basic kit that didn't come with this, I would, I would definitely order that. Now over here, uh, we've got our stones. 
And I like the way that they laid these out. So we've got uh, starting with the course. And these stones are really, uh, it's clever the way that they hook them on. They use this aluminum dovetail deal here. So if we take this out, this is the portion of the sharpener that holds the, the dovetails here. Another improvement, I'm, it looks like to me, I don't remember the other one having this, to be able to adjust this the size of the, if you wanted to run longer stones, or if, maybe if you wanted to run a competitor's stones or something, uh, you could do that. And that gives you that adjustability. But changing the stones is one of the best, one of the best features on this, because when I want to go from the course to the next one, it, this goes in that dovetail, I give it a pinch on the spring here. You see that? I just pinch that there. You put it in, it bites it. I'll straighten it. And that's all it takes to change the stones. There's no tools or anything. And that's really nice. It's very easy. So we've got a, a coarse, and then we've got a less coarse, <laughs> and a medium, I guess. And then we've got a fine, and we've got a super fine. Super fine there. What is that? Was the thousand or? I don't remember. These are great, great stones. I have found that it, um, they, they wear pretty fast if you use them dry. And uh, what I've done is I've just kept a little bit of water uh, container next nearby, and I just uh, dip my finger in it. And when I put the stones in, and that seems to help a little bit, kind of keeps the dust down and carries the things away. If you get them too wet, the adhesive will come off on the back. I've found that with every knife sharpener that I've ever used, um, especially if you use like a solvent, like a kerosene or something like that. Then also, which is kind of cool, is there are I beat these up pretty good. I was neat. I'm a little bit out of practice. These are leather straps for re that's what really puts the fine polish on there. And that's here you have this is the jeweler's rouge. So once you get that on there, you know, you take it just just swipe a little bit of that on there. These things would probably last you a lifetime. They're so big. And then you have a super, super fine paste that gives you that nice polish. And there's even one more here that I didn't even know was in here. I didn't use. And this is Oh, that's nice. So this is just a, this is a two-sided strop. It's got the split leather on one side and fine on the other. And I, I'm assuming that you can, if you wanted to just finish by hand, like a razor strap, that you could do that. That's, I don't think that that's made to fit into to this guy. No, that, that's, that's a nice feature to have. I, I like that. It's all on a board and a nice piece of hardwood there. Yeah, that's cool. And finally, we have this piece here, which is the rod. And then that will screw to this. So when you the setup for this is actually quite simple. You just thread that on there like that. And then you have the two stops right there. See the two stops? They've got the O-ring on there so that when you come to the end, you don't hit metal to metal. It's a, it's a little bit subtle. And this is really important because every knife is different. And by setting these stops, you don't over pull your stone like that. So let's, uh, let me move the camera. Let's set it up here. I'll show you what it looks like. And, and I really want to show you this, this electronic angle cube um, and how that works and how that's, I, I don't know that I'm using it correctly. I've, there's instructions here that shows the setup with calibrating everything. And I mean, good, they're really detailed, uh, more detailed than I'm going to get. So, I mean, if you're that type of person and you'd want to really geek out on angles, um, well, you can read this thing and you can do all that. I have not found that necessary. I've just used this to set my original angle, maybe incorrectly, but the results speak for themselves. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. So let's set it up here and we'll put a knife on it. We've got the SOG, what is it, the seal pup? That's a great, that's a great knife right there. Uh, so you set the base down and then you uh, pull your, this portion right out there. And then you've got your nuts. Now careful, uh, there's two of these that are shorter and the short ones are for this. The longer ones go to the attachments for the knife. So that's threaded in here. The machining that, that goes into this, I mean, all of this stuff is machined. No, it's not cast or, I mean, it's absolutely a work of art. It's beautiful. And this detent, <laughs> you know, it gives me the fizz. I said last time, I just, when I, when, I, when I get it, I just go round and round. I love, I love that detent so much. It's gorgeous. This is a, let me see, it looked inside. Yeah, same thing. Here, look at this. Look at that. Look at those roller, those roller bearings are running around. There's, a, there, there's, a, here's the detent. And listen. Ah, <laughs> I love it. And then as you, uh, as you decrease this, uh, you can put pressure on it so you can make it. 
You can make it lighter or stiffer. It's really a delightful uh, design. It's really, really nice. Mrs. W is here to visit. What could I do for you? <laughs> would you like some breakfast burritos? I would love some. I'll have Jack bring them out. Bring them out. Oh, great. Lunch in the shop. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So this is the, anyway, so that's the detent there. I mean, that is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, look at the Rango Star on there. That's really nice. That's thoughtful. So that, uh, I'm glad they made that removable so I could check it out because I, whenever I put this out or have people come over, they're always interested in this thing. I like to show them that right there. Okay, so that goes on there like that, right? Okay, so next, uh, we're gonna put the uh, top on, so, or the angle finder here. So this is, uh, this thread's on here. We better back you out, huh? So this solid threaded rods, this will thread in here. Now this gives you a massive variety of angles that you can put this on. Because you have, you have this adjuster here, right? With the, the, the new style there that goes up and down. That's a pretty long stroke to it, so you can go, I, I've, what I've just, I've only used it once, but I've threaded this down here, you know, something like that, and then locked it down with the solid brass. Look at the hardware on there, solid brass screws in the guide. I mean, that is right there. Can you see that? Like, I gotta bring it in close again. There's so much detail. I mean, I'm sorry to go on and on about it, but it's just so beautiful. The, look at that, that's a machined solid brass bushing in there. This looks like it may, I don't know if that has a nitrite coating on it or, or what that is, but here's, you can see your, your needle indicator. But the bearing surfaces on these, I mean, it's just flawlessly beautiful. It's a work of art. It really is a, a work of art in, in machining. I mean, I just marvel at it every time I take it out. Just gorgeous. All right, so let's keep moving forward here. So this is our, uh, this is our guide rod. It's gonna hold our stones. And then uh, to put that on there, you take the O-ring off, and then these set, then then this is your, just your stop with a thumb screw, which will, will come clear here in a minute. So what I'll do is I'll put that on there, and then if you want, you can put you, if you want to start with your coarse stone, you can put that in there now, right there, and I'll just I'll just park that off to the side there, out of the way. Now you have to kind of determine what knife you're going to use. So having a knife like this, so this is a this is a heavy duty kind of a survival style knife. Um, it's super stiff, right? It's very rigid. We're not going to need to have the, the double holders. We could go with the sink with the single right there. So these look at the look at the uh, uh, ovals in there, and those fit perfectly in that machined. Looks like Parkerized. I mean, this in itself right there is a is a quite a thing. It's really nice. So one thing I would like to see that's kind of a drag, um, if I, uh, one thing I'd be critical about on this is having, this is how you tighten up the, the jaws here with these Allen wrenches. It would be nice if these were the same size so you don't have to have the two wrenches. I find that to be kind of a little bit of an inconvenience. So these will open up to pretty much any size of knife that you want. They're on, this is, looks like a spring steel here. So this is a thick, fat, heavy knife the seal pup sog there, but it should hand, I, I've never had a knife that was so thick that it wouldn't, it wouldn't handle it. Now what I'm looking is kind of, you know, this is a center line right there. I'm gonna, I want this to roughly end up with the, at the um, center of the blade, right? So once I lock that in there, then I just uh, tighten these guys up here e equally. And then there's that, there's this on the back, which gives it even more pressure, you know, be, it's got all that leverage there and I'll just take that there and just give it a little bit. Now it's, it's absolutely solid locked in. And here's where that detent comes in that's so handy is to be able to sharpen from both sides like that. And this is a way, this is a great addition here to be able to control that detent to whatever you like. So it's not too, uh, not too hard to do, right? So there we have it right there. Now we want to set our stops, right? So we're going to, we don't want to go over and come off the edge and, and nick, our, uh, nick our blade. And this is ni a nice addition too. So I was wondering, I think the original one was metal. See, this one's got plastic on the ends. Let's grab the original one and see. Was that metal or plastic? Oh yes, this is a, this is a great improvement. So here's the original one. So if you forgot to set your stops or your stops um, slipped for it for any reason, um, it, it would hit the aluminum or the, 
yeah, there's aluminum, maybe it was steel. Maybe it is steel. Now you have that protection there on both sides. That's it. That was a clever, that's a clever idea. I, I've never had, had that because I always set the stop. So I'll check here and here. I want to make sure, and then I'll set the, the thumb screw here on my stop. And then I'll go here and I'm going to set this thumb screw here where that goes. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not the expert at this, but I, I do, I'm able to get very good results with it. Set that. Okay, now our stops are set. So now you can see, we won't go too far. Right there. We've got the angle, we've got the O-rings on there. Uh, so it's, a little, it's nice and soft there. All right, so the angle. What do we want to sharpen our knife at? You know, let's say, for example, we want to sharpen it at 20, 20 degrees, right? Well, what I've, what I've done, um, which, which has worked really well, is... You know, I don't know about that. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't even gotten into that, but this is what I like. So what I'll do is I'll turn this on. Let me move the camera over and we'll calibrate it to where the base is sitting. Please forgive me, I'm committing a cardinal sin shooting into a window. Okay, so, um, so what I've done is uh, you can see that this, this here, this plane and, and the plane of this holder here are gonna be the same, right? Even though they're at an angle from the, they're at an angle from the bench, right? So I can set this, I can set this on here right here, like this, for example, right? And I can, I could just calibrate that. I could just hit zero or calibrate. And now I go to zero, right? Now, uh, if I wanted to sharpen this knife at, at, let's say 20 degrees, for example, right? Um, I just put this on here like that, right? It's got a, that's, that base is, in, is intended uh, to, for this magnetic angle block to sit on. And now I've got with the fine, with the fine adjuster here, I'll just, um, I can unlock this. I can, Look how close we are already. I guess I was already there. I can rotate down. Oops, going down. And change that angle to whatever angle I want, right? See it going down there? It's very precise, very fine. So there's my 20 degrees. So the sharpening sequence is, is, is this. And you keep track of it. You know, three. You know, and I'll do uh, 25, 30, 25 or so. And then I'll flip the knife over. And I'll do the same thing here. Cutting both ways. And back and forth. And then you just go through the stones. It, it, the sequence is, is perfect. Or is, uh, sequences make it the same. And it's, it's very simple and, and finishing up with the leather. I mean, it, it's the, the results that I get, if you wanna see a, if you wanna see a sharpening video, well, I'll, I'll take a knife that shouldn't be able to be very sharp, like something like a butter knife. Uh, let me know in the comments and I can do it. We could take a knife that is terrible or, or some a piece of steel and sharpen it on this in just a matter of a few minutes that will, it will be as sharp and as perfect as anything you've ever seen. Now, some criticism always comes up from, I mean, there's some guys that get so anal about this stuff uh, that, uh, that the angle changes you know, as you go around the blade. And it does. It, it, I noticed that yesterday. You'll see that the relief backs up a little bit here on, as the radius of the blade comes up. It is a little bit different there. It's, it's shallower than it is here. And my, I guess my response to that would be, who cares? <laughs> who cares? You know, it's, it's sharp. If it's sharp, it's sharp. You know, so if we're squabbling over little uh, details like that, you know, I, if, to me, I don't, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I couldn't care less. All I want is I want sharp knives. Um, I, I'm able to have a system that's uh, easy for me to use in the shop. That's really versatile and, and uh, that I can, and you know, we, I'm sharpening my parents' knives. I'm sharpening, you know, friends' knives. They bring them over and I, I just enjoy doing it. It's one of the, one of the delightful things I'll bring, I'll just bring the whole thing in and sit at the kitchen table while Mrs. W is cooking and, and sharpen knives and, and hang out. And I, I enjoy it, but uh, it's, it's really nice. It really is nice. I'll put a link to their website. Uh, I'm not, this is not a paid endorsement. This is just um, a favor. They were, they sent me one of these uh, years ago that, I, I, that I've used. Um, I use it almost every week and have, and it's been really wonderful. And it's nice to see them doing well. And so many of you have bought these and have enjoyed them. And to be able to have a small business for a, a, rel a pretty modest investment, I think is, is pretty cool. But uh, I do appreciate it. So um, yes, I did get this for free, for free from them, um, but I really do like it, and I and I'm I'm happy to help them out. And they make a beautiful product for a um, what I consider to be more than a reasonable price, um, and it's a good company and with good support. And I've heard good things back from from those of you who have dealt with them. So. Uh,
So that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see a sharpening video where we do the impossible with a butter knife. Uh, we can do that next time because uh, this, I know, is getting a little bit long, but that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.